Marble Mountain is a third-person action-adventure where you are a legendary explorer and also a marble. Inspired by games like Marble Madness and IPs like Indiana Jones, you're basically immersed in a level-based environment with a bit of exploration and there's some room for creativity when tackling some of these obstacles. There is also a completionist element where you're meant to pick up these hexacoin things in each level as well as unlock tons and tons of different types of marbles. A pretty solid game and a really great example of how VR works for third-person titles. Now, a small production note, there may be some strange cropping happening on the right hand side of kind of time that's just a side effect of the stabilization that i did on this video to help you guys keep your breakfast down you're welcome yay All right, so we're gonna jump into uh, a match here in a second. Let's go and take a look at options so we get to see that. Uh, it's funny, every time I talk now, the screen's gonna shake a little bit. I'm gonna try to avoid doing so much of that. Uh, sound effects and music was turned pretty much all the way down because of the way I had to record this. It's kind of funny how that works. Uh, graphics, uh, all the way to the right, all the way to the left, didn't really seem to do anything. So I just kind of left it where it was. Um, uh, and let's see, uh, select marble. Uh, this is actually pretty important. You can see all the different marbles. I actually have only seen uh, so far the soccer ball. And the way I got it uh, was, it says completing a level. Uh, level two, uh, but I think there was something I had to find in level one. So level two actually found a uh, a soccer ball, this particular spot soccer ball in the uh, in the world itself, and I went and I touched it, but it didn't do anything. So I don't know if it, that was if it's because I touched it or if it's because I completed. The level. I have no idea. Uh, but some of them do have rewards. Some of the levels do actually have rewards. Uh, if I go to select level, you actually see some of that. Uh, this level layout is great. I mean, it's funny. This, this whole setup here is just actually really, really cool. Just being able to look around and check everything out. Uh, so as I go through and scroll, let's see. I initially thought that it was going to let me go ahead and go past all these, but I mean, just to look at how many levels there are, it's quite a few. Quite a few. And if I go up here to this, it says my prize is going to be that ball there. So... Uh, it, there's no option to play. It says it's like a play. I already tried. It doesn't work. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing only the ones with the, uh, well, I can't see them now, but maybe it's a different color flag. But let's go ahead and go to play. It'll start off where I left off, which is after the first couple levels here. Uh, down the wells is the name of this level. <laughs> and as you can see, <laughs> oh, man. Let's go ahead and go down this hill here. The camera just automatically follows your, uh, your marble here. And, uh, but you can take a look around at some of the environment. Uh, I've actually, this is the third, uh, third person game I've played. Uh, one of them was, um, the other two were actually, uh, Rift exclusive. Uh, and I played it over at my buddy's house. Um, unfortunately they're like goddamn expensive right now, so. Um, and I don't, I'm not gonna be owning a Rift anytime soon, so I didn't want to buy some Rift, Rift exclusive. I could buy stuff that's just basically Steam, um, that's compatible with Steam across the board. Which I think is something a lot of people might end up doing, right? They might just be sticking with uh, buying Steam games and not really jumping all over the Oculus proprietary bandwagon in terms of like their software. Because I'm using this on a Steam game, right? So it's, you could totally use the Vive on Steam, no problem. I'm sorry, the Rift on Steam. We're gonna make it past these. We're make it past two at a time, I think. Yep, sure can. And again, we can take a lean. We can lean back, look around. I can get in a little bit. Uh, it's a very very small difference, but it, you could you could see it like it, it feels oh no It's a noticeable difference now. Let's go ahead and wait till we go back up here Boop a little bit of a bounce yeah. <laughs> Here we go The uh, one of them was a a a third-person platformer. I guess you could call it <laughs> And uh, you follow those cute little fox like tails from Sonic, and you can follow him around and do all these, you know, basically play platformer. Uh, and the other one was a was a uh, a dungeon crawler, which is actually really really cool. I forget the name of the games though. There's only like six games on Rift right now, so <laughs> on the Rift home system, so it's pretty easy to narrow it down, I think. Do do do. Now there are. Uh, this is the end. The gold lift basically means you beat the level. And there we go. And I miss, oh, I guess I missed one of those things. So I don't, do I not get the prize or something? Let's take a look around. Is that the one I missed? No, I got that one because I was coming out of the pipe. Oh no, maybe I did miss that one. Oh yeah, because look at that, there's another entrance or exit over there. This is great. I mean, this is the way I have the fact that I can look around here. You know, let's go back and, and grab it real quick and see, I mean, we should just complete it, right? 
And I have to click all of them again, but we're familiar with the level now, so we should be able to just kind of zoom through it to the best of our ability here. I have to adjust. I don't think I have this thing on correctly here. Small adjustments, I'm good. Ding! Okay, let's go back. Now, we want to take this pipe over here. Oh, yeah, hey, there's the chrome, like, pinball. Man, scratching your nose is hard on this. I'm about picking my nose right now. You got a nose itch. I feel bad for you, son. <laughs> oh, there's another, there's another thing. This is gonna take you past everything? Oh, get out. Oh, of course I'm gonna <laughs> have to go back anyways. Go do double here. Stop, and then double back. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Wait, did it count? Did the pickup count? Oh, it did. So I could I could have taken the, uh, the, the tram right there back, the pipe tram. All right, so I have two. I need two more. Where's the other one at? It's over there. No. Then right down the hole. Is there anything down there? <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's funny. I, I I laugh, but I get I get a little uneasy when I look down because the uh, the the perception, the immersion, is enough to make me feel like I'm floating here. Oh no! I, I missed one. Oh crap! Oh my god! Wait. Which, oh, forget it. Whatever. Whatever. We're going to the next level. Oh no, I got them all! Okay, I don't remember count- I'm bad at counting, I guess. One, two, uh, C, yeah. Okay, the tree. There's three of them here. Let's take a quick look around. Oh, there's one! <laughs> okay. You know what's funny? This could totally work as a non-VR game. Like, this could just be- I mean, if it was just available straight up, I mean, it's just like a simple- less uh less violent marble madness although there are some some violent parts here like there are some enemies excuse me uh there are some enemies you have to avoid not yet seen we only see one in the tutorial area that's pretty much it uh, button push really the technique already anything else here it's funny, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was totally dissing on, on third person perspective VR. I was completely hating on on Twitter when they were doing their announcement and everything, and they are showing all the different games. I was like, that's really dumb. Why would I, why would I play a third person game with a first person experience? Uh, and honestly, right now, I'm an idiot. <laughs> like, experiencing this and seeing, oh no, oh god, okay. Uh, I mean, it's, it is, it really is, truly, it works. Like, being able to look around. They, it's, it's because they did it right. You know? And you may think that, I feel like I might be getting, you may think, oh, I'm gonna get, oh, she's running around, uh, or being basically shuttled around by this floating camera here. Uh, but that is actually farther, it could not be farther from the truth. It completely works. <laughs> Make the climb! There we go. We're just gonna hug this thing all the way around because that that does look like this pretty far drop. Is this a vacuum of some sort? I hope so. <sighs> Plop. Mm, it's gotta go this way. Ride this around. And then there we go. And that's it. We've completed it. We've completed the tree. Next one. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Grind my gears. You don't really grind my gears. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these guys. You can't let them touch you. They will kill you. Let's go around them. Your screen just basically cracks when you die. We will probably see at least one death here. Oh, 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 man, they're gonna make you work for this one. All right, see? So it's not all easy peasy, man. They make you work for some of these. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, that's a bad guy. 
We gotta go this way. Nope. Oh, he's gonna try to push me off. Ah, uh, rip. <laughs> rip, Skelly. Then move this up and around. Good. Wow, okay. Was there only three for this level? Man, I don't remember. It's like, it's like playing, I mean, it's funny, it's, it's Marvel Madness related, but I feel like it's more like playing uh, interactive, like, miniature golf. Like, the the, the scene, the, the theme, the uh, some of the contraptions of the moving part, it's like, it doesn't really scream Marvel Madness to me yet. It also doesn't have that menacing music. <laughs> Some of the best music, by the way. I'm not controlling this. It's all inertia. We're just using our momentum to keep me going. Hey! Wait, wait. Don't I already have one of those? I should go back and see if I actually have that. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to ride this thing up. Oh, there's... Okay, I gotta grab that first. Oh, looks like I don't have a choice to ride this thing around. Was there a, um... I see there's a pipe there, but I don't know if it actually leads to where I need to go. Oops, oops. I keep an eye on my balls there. Uh, can I just... Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna ride this thing around. Oh no, it looks like I can actually uh, do this. Okay, cool. I, I could have jumped in the pipe, but whatever. Can I get splashed? No. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I want. Okay. Good. Gonna ride this thing all the way in. Boop! <laughs> doink, doink. Oh, did not think I was gonna make that. It's funny, you know, being in this environment and actually seeing, experiencing everything in a three-dimensional space, uh, with all of this actual depth here, uh, or this perceived depth, really, really makes me gives me a better understanding of just, you know, the physics of the marble. Like, you know, as I'm moving around here, when I don't feel like I'm gonna make something, like, I, it's not because, if, if you, how do I explain this? It just feels a bit more of a realistic type of approach. Not like, oh, I need to push the controller hard enough. It's like, it's like, oh, did I get enough momentum because of how how much my ball, the perceived weight of it. Does that make sense? I don't even know how to explain this. It's like, it's a different feeling in terms of, you know, why? Why there's a lot of things in there. Uh, in terms of why I've not, uh, in terms of the, the momentum of the ball itself. Man, I feel like I'm just speaking gibberish right now. It's so hard to explain this. This is, I feel like this is impossible. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's go back and see if I can't... If I can't take a look at my balls. There's no music here. There's no sound. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, it's a mirror ball. Oh, music's back. That's close enough, a mirror ball, take it. It looked a lot shinier than that, honestly. Okay, so that's when we selected, right? Okay, good. <laughs> that was natural, kind of. Yeah, that's what I got right there. Okay, cool. Now let's jump back in here. Ooh. Oh, the. Oh, this is kind of nice. Uh, because we're in what's called golden hour, uh, which means <laughs> the sun. Uh, if there was a sun, uh, the sun is setting. Golden hour is actually something photographers use a lot to get that warmth, the warm look to their photos. Um, uh, it's basically when the sun is almost setting or when the sun is uh, uh, rising and you can, uh, uh, you use that warmth to, uh, uh, to, I'm hearing something else actually, I'm hearing like Steam VR or something like that's running in the background. A little glitchy here, I'm gonna have to clean that up. But anyways, yeah, we use that because of the, uh, the lighting is really nice and crisp um, and it gives you kind of a warm glow. And actually, you know, I'm gonna fix that, uh, that sound. Before we go any farther here, where is it? Yeah, definitely Steam VR or something is running in the background here. Hi. There's a real person under here. 
Let's see if I can quit this real quick. You can, uh, you can hear the up and down for some reason it'll like jump back into Steam VR and I have no idea why. And CVR is actually not running. Let's see. VR compositor. Huh, how interesting. Yeah, it's definitely not running, but for some reason it is. That's really weird. Strange. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. You know what? We're gonna do a quick restart here. Make sure we get this right. I don't want you guys to have to listen to Steam selecting random crap all over the place. <laughs> All right, so we should be pretty much good to go now. Uh, it's 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 funny, like again, like every game is has its own individual like quirk or something going on. Like right now, uh, you guys can't see it. I already checked, but I can see it. I can see a blue horizon line because Steam VR is overlaid on top of it, but it won't close. Uh, so it's definitely a quirk with Steam VR. So I'm playing in my headset with a blue line going across the middle of the screen, a horizon line from the Steam VR horizon. Uh, uh, overlay, but you guys are getting a different window feed, so it's a little bit different for you guys. Anyways, we've been sitting at this thing for like, what, three minutes now? Let's go ahead and try to make this jump. I didn't even try to make that jump. Oh, well, the gold right there, so I guess so. Wow. Whoa! Achievement! Balls to the wall! <laughs> but wait, I didn't get it. I mean, wait, was I supposed to get something from that? I don't even know. Let's just keep going. Yeah, we'll do one or two more puzzles here before Steam VR decides to just do all kinds of weird stuff. Everything is in beta. Everything's in beta. Oh boy. Okay, so that's gonna be fun. I see there's a couple more over there. Uh, and a couple more over there. All right, let's do this. Is there a? Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Only in VR. Let's go hit that button and then we'll come back and hit the, uh, and get that thing there. Good. Is there anything else over there? Oh, there's something. Oh, look at that. There's something behind the waterfall. Let's go and get it. Hug the wall. I think that was the, uh, achievement I was supposed to get. Oh, look at this guy. Huh. Oh, I got a hat. Oh man! P.S. I'm leaning in and looking behind the waterfall because up there, because I got no words. Look at this! Oh yeah! I have a hat that's very close to this. So mine's made out of leather. No! Whoops! Rip! Rip cowboy hat? Nope. Good. Uh, I still haven't gotten that though. Okay, get that. I'm just gonna make this jump. I'm just gonna jump. I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I got this. Why is it not spinning sometimes? The game said no. <laughs> that was the that was the wrong way to approach that. Can I make this? Yes. Okay. So this is okay. Oh, I ended up getting it anyways. I didn't even notice. Uh, I didn't even notice. It's like my tagline, I think. <laughs> For all things gaming, I didn't even notice. If we roll, if we roll out on this thing. Just keep on, keep that momentum going. Except for right here. I need to find two more buttons. There's one. That's gonna let me into this area. Got it. So I would have had to have gone the other way anyways. There was no decision then. There's a third one there. I didn't catch how many of those special gold symbols, emblems, doodads I needed. So. Hopefully we're collecting them all. And a lift. Oh, there's one over here. You know, if it didn't move, I might not have seen it. Oh man. Oh, thank God I didn't make me shoot that. That would have been, that would have been an instant lose for me. One second, is there a coin over here? Okay, just checking. No, okay. I just know I'd be pretty upset if I went through all of this and then missed a coin that's sitting right there. I got them all. Hey, all right. Let's do one more. New best time. Oh, see, now they're getting there with me. I like this. Oh, man. Graveyard depths. Five. Five things. Hexagon deals. 
Ooh, welcome to Duskwood. Oh, you imagine like, ah, oh. man, this totally looks like Duskwood. <laughs> uh, right down to the poly count. Oh, jokes. Let's see. No, not that way. Can't go that way. There's a gear thing over here. I can probably ride this. I'm guessing it's gonna come on to be right like this. I appreciate that they let me keep my hat. I don't know. <laughs> I think this is this is good. Oh wait, we gotta jump off get that right there. Just hug the wall to our best of our ability there. Here we go. And then good. Yes. Button push. Guess that's a good one. Oh there's a timer. There's a timer. Ah! Tick 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 tick. Timer. Oh crap, there's a thing over there. Hold on. Make this. We're done over here. Okay, good. Whoa! <laughs> oh, this is so awesome! <laughs> uh, okay, I'm kind of scared though. Where, where am I going? Where's my? Where you take my balls? Oh, there we go. This is great, and I got the hat. I'm Indiana Jones. I'm straight up Indiana Jones. I'm so glad I got that hat. Oh wait, wait. Oh wait. Do I get his? Do I get to be the Reaper? Indi Indiana Jones? Indiana Reaper? Oh, 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 his head is uh, right there. He's gonna try to push me off. Nope. Oh, that was easy. Oh, 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 God. How many heads does he have? Nothing else. Let's check, let's check. Let's look around. Look at him over there. He's like, yeah, bitch, come back for more. Okay, let's take a gander here. Oh. Um. Uh, let's go this way first. This way it looks like it's probably the the best route here. Okay, everything is stopping. I'm guessing that means I need to hurry up and come back over here. And that's just not how you hurry up. I don't think there was anything for me to click on. <laughs> He's just waiting up there for me. Whoa! Okay. Oh, yeah. This is so awesome! Third person games of VR, man. I couldn't have been more wrong. Could not have been more wrong. Oh, beautiful. Oh, of course I missed one. Damn it! All right, well, yeah, I got you best time. <laughs> so that's it. That is Marble Mountain. Yes, this is VO me, not game playing me. Ha ha ha, I'm taking, oh, whatever. Uh, you can get it right now on Steam for $9.99. Again, a solid title, man, like a really fun title. And I have not even scratched the surface on the number of levels that are available to you, to me. Uh, and as you've seen in the intro, and of course here, there's a bunch of different uh, themes uh, and environments. So you're not just basically out in the green the entire time. You actually have all these different crazy environments. They put a lot of work into this uh, and definitely a game that I would recommend if you are hopping on that VR train. Mike the AK Phony, Indy for breakfast, Marble Mountain. I'll see you guys 